I often see people using Rage Art in ways that aren't really optimal. So today we'll be going over when to use it in combos, so you always get max damage. Let's say you have both Rage and Heat available, and on the brink of death, you hit a Clutch Launcher. What combination of Heat and Rage will output the most damage? The first scenario is we use our Heat Engager, then Rage Art afterwards. Spoiler alert, this is the worst possible thing you could do. Just look at the amount of damage each hit of the Rage Art is doing. Some hits aren't amounting to a single point of damage. And in the end, we get 98 damage. The reason that was so bad is because Rage Arts do a big chunk of damage, so are very susceptible to damage scaling. This is exacerbated by going into heat during the combo, which lowers the minimum combo scaling from 33% to 16%. Just to demonstrate just how bad that is, we can get around 10% more damage by just doing a normal wall combo. So, what if we just Rage Art, to prevent our damage scaling from being ruined? We still only get 100 damage, which is marginally better than the first option. And what about if we use Heat, plus our Heat Dash, ignoring using Rage Art? Of course this will be different depending on the character, but we'll get a rough idea. 109 damage, which is 2 damage more than the wall combo. Not great, but still the best. So, what have we learnt from this? Well, if we have a wall available, and we can get a clean wall splat, then we should always go for either a wall combo, or heat burst into heat dash. Depending on your character, the benefit of spending all your heat may or may not be worth it, unless those few points of damage might kill your opponent. It turns out, that damage scaling has the highest influence on damage output. Who would have thought? Moving on, so what if there's no wall nearby? Without the wall, Rage Art should always do more damage than a regular combo ender. And in this case, it did around 15% more damage. However, if you have Heat available, and again, it depends on your character, but you should get even more. And in Reyna's case, another 13% extra damage compared to Rage Art. One more thing I'll add. If you're already in Heat, and you can use your Heat Dash to extend to the wall, a normal wall combo should still do more damage than Rage Art. So, when there's no wall, the highest damage should be using all of your heat. This time it's a lot more worth it. Rage Art comes in second, and your regular combo ender does the least. The next situation is if you're at the wall already. A well-optimized high wall splat combo for Reyna does 78. With Rage, we're able to alter the combo slightly to get 76 damage, which is just short. And surprise surprise, with heat we can get the most at 85, which is almost 10% more. The last situation I'll cover is after a low parry. Due to the lower combo damage, Rage Art should have more of a chance here. Our normal combo does 50 here. If we instantly Rage Art to get the best scaling, we get 41 damage. We can alter our combo to do Rage Art at the end and get a little more. And of course, Heat does the most. So, to wrap things up, here's a cheat sheet with all the information I just provided. A PDF version is available on Discord. I hope you learned something today, good luck with your games, and as always, thanks for watching.